We're here in Willie Mullins, it's for his pre chat in the press morning. It's a cold and damp morning, and it's an unusual one for me. Normally I'd be on these horses' backs, but this year, well, I'm standing here talking to you. And behind us are the vast army of Willie Mullins' horses. Min has just gone through the shot with Tornado Flyer, Monkfish, Doll Cheetah, The Big Getaway, Seldin Edge, Stormy Island on the far side, Appreciated, The Big Hope in the Bumper on this side, Melon, Shotgun Pursois, A1. Asturian for Lounge, Franco de Port, and well, the rest with no number slots, they're just not going to Cheltenham. Two, we didn't make much introduction to Faheen. Whether he'll run in Cheltenham or not hasn't been decided. Willie Mullins and Rich Ritchie, I'm sure, will discuss that in the future, but he has been exceptional this year, winning. All three of his chase starts, a grade one in Limerick and a brilliant grade one in Leperstown in his last start. But who knows whether he'll be at the Cheltenham Festival or not. 20 is Carl Reevy. She was no match for Manila Melody in Ferry House in her last start. I'm sure she'll contest the Mayor's Novice Hurdle on Thursday. She's a stout stare and doesn't go without her chance. This is Silas Emery. I suppose he had been considered a chaser for most of the season, but Connections decided a crack at the Red Mills Hurdle and a go at the Champion Hurdle might be another option for him. He was good in beating the Rasso. The champion hurdle will be a whole new ball game, but he's a high class horse. The big brown horse with the jockey in the maroon cap is Alaho. He was no match for Manila Indo at last year's festival in the Albert Bartlett. Looks like he'll contest the RSA. He's a strong staying, big jumping horse, but he'll have to overcome champ in Manila Indo. Small black horse with the navy cap and the red stars, Debbie Mangan on board is easy game. Second to Faheen in the Nob Flowgas Novice Chase at Leperstown, probably running the Marsh Novice Chase. He's a light athletic type, but he has a squeak in what looks an open race. And beside him, in the boot cap of Jody Townend, is Stormy Island. She's a cracking little mare, front runner, wears her heart in her sleeve. Was no match last year for Roxana, and to be honest, wasn't going to be a match for Benny the Jew either. She'll run in the mare's hurdle again, but she has to improve a bit. And where is she going to find the improvement from? I don't know, to beat Benny the Jew. And the all black, the black cap of Patrick Mullins is carefully selected, favourite for the National Hunt chase. He's won all his chase starts this year. His jumping's been a bit in and out, but I'm sure Patrick can't wait to ride him in the National Hunt chase. Directly in front of him, with a bit of white in her tail, is Benny the Jew. Very unlucky in the mare's hurdle last year when she clipped the top bar and fell over. She was brilliant in the Galmoy hurdle on her only start this year. I think she'll run in the mare's hurdle, and I think she'll be very hard to beat. For me, she's probably with his best chance of the week. In the silver cap, cap at the back of your shot is on the saw. He's been a brilliant little horse for the yard and for connections. This is probably his swan song at the Shelton Festival. Whether he'll run the champion chase or the Ryanair, who knows. But he'll give a good account of himself wherever he goes. Coming into shot at the back of on the saw, just appearing now, in the black cap is Al Boom Photo, the winner of last year's Shelton Gold Cup. He's had the very similar preparation this year, went to Tremor and won again like he did last year. He was very good in the Gold Cup. It's quite a similar race, I think, add in Santini and Delta Work, but the rest of them are the same horses. I know Paul Townend really likes him. He showed last year he stays, and to me, he's a worthy favour. That chestnut head with the white gash, or white dash even, is Monkfish, current favourite for your Albert Bartlett, whose form got a great boost lately when Run Wild Fred won in Punchestown. He was a bit disappointed on his first start in Ferry House, but he's done nothing wrong since. He's a good jumper, he seems to stay really well. The Albert Barton is a hard race to win for horses, but this guy's as good a chance as Willie Mullins has ever had in it. The green and navy quarter cap walking away from you, with Tollick smoking a cigarette, is the big getaway. Very impressive winner of a maiden hurdle in a nace on his last start. Bit unlucky in Leperstown, he'll obviously have to take on Envoy Allen in the Valley Moor, but Patrick Mullins loves this horse. The grey trotting through your shot, with Mikey Fogarty on board, is Asteria for Ange. I think he'll run in the Supreme Novices. To me, he, I was lucky enough to win six of them, and five of them were on real strong stairs. And this fella, to me, ticks the boxes you need to win the Supreme. If I was Paul Townend, I'd be hoping Willie Mullins runs him in the Supreme, because I'd want to be on his back. Directly behind the grey, in the green and the black cap is a handicapper called Franco de Port. Hasn't had that many runs for us. He's a second season novice coming from France. But I think whatever handicap he turns it up, up in at the festival, he'll be worth following. 
standing on his own in isolation in the green hood, his cashback. And he's on his own for a reason. He's had quite a difficult ride. And Vitaly, who rides him every day, does a great job with him. He was on the pace with Notebook in the Irish Arkle all the way. He'll most definitely be on the pace in the Arkle at the Cheltenham Festival as well. And a real strong gallop suits him. We saw in Leopard Sound that he stay as well. But they run it, with that run in Leopard Sound under his belt and that bit more experience, I think he could turn the, turn the form at Notebook and that'll give him a great chance in the Arkle.